Now, your local two weather authority forecast. Welcome back, everyone. Meteorologist John Mayer here, and we are continuing to see a few clouds out there, a little bit of rain, but unfortunately, none of it making its way into West Texas just yet. We are looking at some of those storms to our north, to our west, and then that dry spot right in the middle. Well, that's us. Just like it's been basically every day for the past month or so now, we still aren't seeing much rainfall developing out there anytime soon. Though by this afternoon, that one area that's been getting that off and on rain chances, the Davis Mountains, they're going to get another round coming their way in the very near future. Once we make our way into the afternoon hours, that's when we start to see some of those storms develop. Also up into the Guadalupe Mountains, the northern basin, this model giving us some rainfall up there. I think that's pretty unlikely though. For the most part, we're going to be staying dry across the basin. It's off to the west that we could see some of that rain developing for us, but big picture, it's still the exact same story that it's been for a good long while now. That high pressure still in place, giving us plenty of that hot air all across the state and it's the reason that we've been looking at triple digit highs day after day after day every day in August this far has been 100 degrees or more and it looks like we're going to continue that little streak for at least the next few days but some big changes are in store for us once we move into this weekend there are two major components we're going to start with the first one here the jet stream and exactly what's going on there pay attention to this area off to our northwest that's where we're going to see the jet stream take a little bit of a dip we see start to see it driving down, allowing some of that cooler air from the north to seep its way down towards West Texas. We get a cold front to develop for us near this weekend, and that'll give us a chance to see some of that cooler air coming back around for us. Now, the one other thing we could use is some rainfall, right? Well, we do have a chance to see a little bit of that as well. Bringing in some major moisture is going to be Tropical Storm Javier. It's down to our southwest now. It's into the Pacific Ocean, just off the coast of Mexico. But once it starts to move towards the north, cutting up along the Gulf of California, we get that chance to see some rain coming our way. You combine the moisture from the tropics with that cold air from the north, and you start to get a really nice forecast by the time this weekend rolls around. But, well, it's still Monday, and we're still plenty hot. We're in the upper 70s, lower 80s for the time being. We're going to see a lot more of those triple-digit highs into this afternoon. Northern Basin, 100 degrees into the Central Basin, some more 100 degrees into the Trans Pecos. Yeah, some more 100 degrees, but well, that's what we've gotten used to by now. Really, what we're going to have to wait on is what's coming our way Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That's when we see the rain, when we see those cooler temperatures dipping down to the lower 90s. Even some 80s could be heading our way by this weekend. Really, a very nice forecast by the time we move through the next few days. So we just got to make it until this weekend.